Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bella. So I've been a bit poorly for the last week. However, it's a new Arsenal game. We've got to do something for it. And a lot of you might not know that I got the idea of going to the Emirates Stadium in body paint because I learned how to do body paint back when I was in college. So I'm gonna give it a go. I haven't done it in maybe about three, four years now. So I'm gonna attempt to paint this shirt on me today whilst answering the most pressing questions that you guys have had about the body paint since I started doing it last season. So let's get straight into it then, shall we? Okay, so I've mapped everything out, what needs to be done, and now I'm just painting the red on. To be fair, for someone who hasn't done it in a while, I think I'm speaking too soon, like I do for most school predictions. But um, we're actually off to a really good start. What do you think, Arteta? Because that's the fucking standards. Good, he loves it. Let's go. So I've messed up already. Uh, I was literally supposed to put the fire better on each bazunga. I, because I've got like, it's like tape. It's not gonna go over with white, so I'm gonna have to put it underneath. Which it would be on the shirt anyway, but I'm just gonna tell myself that, so yeah. When I'm doing the letters, I'm like holding my breath. Just trying to like do it right. My hands are bare shaky. We're on time, we're almost in time for the game. Now the thing is with white is that it's so hard on body paint. It comes off the easiest. I'm gonna I'm be a tomato for the next three days. It's a very like translucent, like tight. So you have to give it, put a lot of layers on to make it actually look like realistic. Do you know what I mean? Just have to go over it with some layers. Every time that I move my arm, if it's a bit wet, it transfers. So the white keeps going on the red and the red keeps going on the white. And uh, so I've had to switch it up and go somewhere else. <laughs> Why you make the badge so hard to do, Adidas. Right, the fly better is gonna be the most difficult part of this. Um, I'm gonna give it a go. If I can't see underneath my giddies, I uh, won't be doing it, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm literally just doing like the last little finishy bit. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below so far. I could have fit the fly better like here and here like usual, but I shoved it underneath. Okay, so this is my finished body painting look. I haven't done the back because obviously can't get that far. To be honest, it was hard, but because I was like just constantly like this, and does anybody else get dizzy when they look down for too long? Because I do. I would say that the badge is the hardest part. Um, they usually stencil it on, so I didn't have the necessities for that big man. What do you guys think? Rate out of 10 in the comments. Let me know how you think I did on my own personal body pain. Let's get some questions, because I asked you guys over on my Instagram, what sort of questions do you have about this? Because not a lot of people actually know body pain. I know body pain, you guys don't. So I'm gonna answer some questions now. Has anybody ever touched you in public um no <laughs> uh, every time that i go to the stadium people are pretty respectful i get people video me all the time yeah people are really respectful when you go there i think it's just when it's online it's a lot of like oh i would do this i'd do this no you wouldn't not in real life you wouldn't do that is it difficult to remove how many hours does it take to paint this for me just now has probably taken me about two hours to paint my body but i haven't even done the back i haven't done the shorts usually when i go and get it done from tamara or Jess, I, it takes about four hours to do the whole thing because obviously they're professionals. To take it to remove it, if you are on my other spicy website, you'll actually know because I film the whole thing, taking it off every single time that I do it. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, the number one question, what happens if it rains? Yeah, when it rains, it doesn't come off. Uh, it takes a lot for this to come off. It's one of those things where like you have to rub it So usually when I'm taking it off I've got to put oil on first to get it all off especially the red because the red stains We did the the only fan one at Brighton Pride in the rain and it was fine So yeah, so what made you do it and what's your biggest fear when you go to the stadium to be honest? I was just sitting on the sofa one day and I was like, oh my god, body paint exists and also I love Arsenal So I was like, let's give it a go. I had a look at the the laws in the UK to see whether I was uh, breaching public indecency, which I'm not. It all just went from there. The thing that scares me the most, to be fair, I'm pretty fearless, I'm not even gonna lie. I just, I don't really mind. My biggest fear probably is being cold. That's it, <laughs> like just being so cold. But 
everything else. I've never had a bad experience yet, so it's been pretty good. Will you paint another jersey on? No. Arsenal's my team. I will not be painting any other jersey. So many people are like, I'll give you this much to do this. I'll give no, I don't want I don't want that. You know? When I do this, it's for me, it's for Arsenal. That's all. I'm an Arsenal fan, you can never change that. Does your bathtub look bloody like bloody murder when you wash off all the paint? Yeah, it does. It literally looks like I've someone and then I've got a clean me, clean the bath, and yeah, it's all just it's a mess. Do you speak to everyone outside of the stadium? I do, yeah. Every single person that comes up to me, I'm happy to chat to you, I don't mind. The fourth time that I've done it was the most times that I've had people come over to me and know who I am, so, and I love it because it means I have more people for my interviews. Why do you have to cover up your nipples and your... I don't know why this is even a question, it, because it's public indecency if you do that. Yeah, you can't go out without any clothes on because you shock and, and hurt people. And I know that some of you think that body paint is me going out naked, but it's not. Have I done any spicy videos with my body paint on? <laughs> Bitch, where have you been? Why have you not been, been on there? Of course I have. I went back with a fan the first time. Uh, the second time I, well, the second and third time I've done it on my own. I can't really find anyone, but of course, of course I've done a video every single time and I'm probably gonna do one now, even if my one's not as great as the, the ones that gets done, but yeah. A question that I got continuously is why are my boobs so saggy <laughs> for my age? I'm 25, so I don't know why my boobs are so saggy. They're not, it's just, I don't know what it is about you guys, but I feel like if you've never seen a pair in real life, then please don't comment on how low my boobs hang because they're actually pretty perky for what they are. Does the body paint affect my skin? No, it doesn't. It's a water-based paint. It comes off with just water. You can get oil-based paint, but yeah, it literally comes off with water. It doesn't affect my skin, but you do have to double check and see whether you're allergic to anything before you do put it on. So if you're gonna be at home painting yourself, make sure you double check and see uh, how your skin reacts to it before. Are you gonna do a Halloween-inspired body paint? Guys, let me know if you want me to, because for years I used to do Halloween-inspired body paints and face paint and special effects but since I started working online, I actually haven't really done it as much. So let me know down below if you want me to do a Halloween inspired body paint, or if you wanna see pictures of what I look like when I did do it. Will I ever do a body painting collab? Potentially, it depends. I haven't really thought about anyone who is, you know, would be comfortable doing it. A lot of the girls that I have asked don't feel comfortable doing it or they've been busy or whatever. So maybe in the future. Do you leave paint on the toilet seat when you pee? Yes, I do. Especially when it's hot. Are you going to do the Arsenal third kit next? Um, I've thought about it. I mean, the ones definitely on my list are the Invincibles yellow shirt. Um, I wanna do the bruised banana, but that's gonna take forever. Um, and I also wanna do my favorite shirt, which is the 1989 Away shirt, the JVC one. Um, I would love to do that, the blue one with the old badge. So they're like on the next list of what I wanna do. How waterproof is the paint? And what happens when you get cold? Um, I cut ice when it gets cold. That's all that happens really. I usually have like a poncho or something if it starts raining just in case. But as I said, the, the rain doesn't really affect it too much. It's more the fact that it's cold. So I just put on like a plastic poncho, you know, like the ones that you get at Thorpe Park or like uh, when you go on a water ride. So yeah. Does it feel weird to go out when you know that everybody is looking at your chest? No, uh, to be honest, people look at my chest, whether I have clothes on or whether I have body paint on. Um, it really doesn't make a difference to me. And with what I do for a living, do you really think I care that much? Is it easy to paint the words of the sponsor using the mirror? Kind of. Uh, I found it quite difficult to be honest because you've got to do it back to front instead of that way. Is the backlash worth it? Yes, every time I go to the stadium, I have the best time. People are so lovely. And honestly, my guys behind the cameras are absolute wizards. So shout out to Luke, Ish and Johnny. The videos turn out amazing every time. And it's just, it's great. Like it's great meeting people, um, especially being a content creator. You know, it's one of those things where I don't really go out and meet people that often. So doing this is a kind of like a way of me being like, ah, social and it's scary and social. 
you should get other creators to do five aside in body paint. If you are another creator and you would like to do body paint, please let me know. Let's have a five aside match and then see how we do. I watch football, haven't played football for a very, very long time, so I'd be a bit rusty on that, just like the body paint that I've done today. <laughs> when you go out and body paint, does it feel like you're wearing clothes? It kind of does actually. It like, I can't really explain it. It's like, it feels like I have something on. So it doesn't feel like I'm not wearing clothes, if that makes sense. Is the paint edible? It could be. Depends on where, what, what you want to eat. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching me do my own body paint. I'm sorry I couldn't be at the stadium this week because obviously I have been very poorly. I do not want to get ill again as I'm going away on holiday. Um, so I won't be back for another couple of weeks, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. My man, Arteta, he's done bits. And hopefully we're gonna smash Chelsea today. All my links are down below. If you wanna see the video that I'm gonna make in this paint, please, please click the link down below. I love you. See you very, very soon. Bye.